All right, guys, welcome to yet another Pygame RPG series tutorial here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at adding in fireballs and working on the mana system a bit, okay? So we already worked on the mana system a bit in the last video where we implemented the mana potions into the inventory, okay? But there's still a lot more to go and the mana system, the inventory, and the fireballs by extension won't be completely fixed until the next video, okay? So we'll work on the fireballs mainly and if we have some time left over, we'll begin implementing a mana bar for our player. And yeah, this depends on how much time we have left and how, how much time it really takes to make the fireball, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and make our fireball class. Fireball and uh, .py. Okay, now let me open this up and we're going to spend a good 5-10 minutes just coding this thing, okay? So import pygame, okay, and class fireball, and we'll inherit from pygame.sprite because we'll be using sprite groups with this, so we can need to do this, okay, just standard stuff. And what about parameters? Um, well, let's see. Player. I'm going to pass in the player into the fireball because the fireballs will be created inside the player class. Okay, more on that later. So we'll just pass in the player as well because it's going to be kind of important. Oh, and before this actually, let's just go to our images here and take a look at our fireballs. Where are they? Okay, I haven't brought them in here yet. So let me just quickly pause the video and bring them in here. Okay, so here are two fireball images, one for the left, one for right, okay, because the fireball can be in either direction, you know. So, uh, let's make a fireball class, fireball.py, okay. Now let me open this up and we'll begin coding. Come on. All right import pygame let's make our class now class fireball pygame dot sprite dot sprite because this needs to be a sprite because we'll be using it with sprite groups later okay self here here and then i'll do player here as well you'll understand why we're doing this later okay because we can need to pass player because we'll need a lot of information about the player, like the player, the direction in which the player is facing, where the player currently is, okay? So, yeah. Then over here, super, okay, which is basically going to be calling the init function for the base class, the parent class, I mean, okay? So, what else? Okay, that's pretty much it, I think. So let's begin loading in our image for the fireball, okay? Now, it's going to be like this. If player is facing the right, okay, then load up. Uh, okay, this is going to be a bit tricky. So self.image is equal to null or none, okay? Then self.image is equal to pygame dot image dot load then I'll do images slash uh, fireball with capital I don't think so so yeah dot png now this is for if it's right but what if he's facing the left so we'll just do else if he's facing the left then I want you to load in the left one okay so that's pretty good and other than this, I need to create a rect based off of the image. Okay, get rect function. And we'll use the center feature over here to very easily center the position of the fireball when we create it to the center of the player. Okay, center is an attribute of the rect, okay, by the way. So other than this, what do we need to do? Hmm, I don't know. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and make our render function self display and display dot blit self dot self dot image same as usual same as usual and self dot rect. Then we'll make one more function called update. And this is going to be kind of important because in here I'm going to pass in the enemy group. 
okay, wide enemy group? Well, it's kind of important um, because I'm going to be using this function, pygame dot sprite dot sprite collide. Okay, and I think this is how it is, right? Sprite collide any, then self, okay, because it takes two parameters. The first one is the, you know, uh, the single sprite that you want to check collisions with an entire group. So I'm going to, I'm going to you know, type in group over there. And basically what this does is that it checks for the fireball. Okay, it takes the fireball, then checks it for collisions against this entire group of enemies. Okay, so basically what I want to say is that if there are any collisions with the enemy, okay, then I want you to kill yourself, basically. That sounds kind of nasty, but yeah. What this does is just kills itself, okay? So it's not gonna render anymore or anything, okay? That's a uh, effective way of basically stopping the fireball once it hits, it hits our enemy, okay? But this won't kill the enemy, okay? Not yet. We'll implement that a bit later. So for now, let's just do something like if player <clears throat> dot direction is equal to right. Hmm, actually, come to think of it, Shouldn't I store this direction somewhere? I probably should, right? So yeah, I'll do self.direction is equal to player.direction. And the reason for this is that if the player's direction changes uh, while the update function is running, that might uh, you know negatively affect what's going on, okay? Because if the player, if the fireball is moving right and then the player moves left suddenly, then the fireball itself might turn uh, you know left midair and that's gonna look really weird so i'm just gonna change this okay so we'll only take the player's direction when the fireball is being initialized so if self direction dot direction is equal to right then self dot rect dot move in place i don't think that you guys have seen this one before what it does is moves the rect in place so if i pass in three over here it's gonna move the rect three pixels to the right and similarly self.direction is equal to left and what it does is moves if I, you know, if I type in minus 3 it'll move it to the left okay pretty cool so I think that's about it so let's go to over to the player class and we'll need to open up our game file as well okay our game files opened and what about the player file? Nope, not open. Why not? Come on. All right. I'll make a function called fireball. Okay. And over here, I'm going to go up first, actually. From fireball, import fireball. I'll come back down here and say fireball is equal to uh, fireball. Okay, and there's one more thing that I need to do, actually. I'm passing in a parameter called group over here. And what is this? Just wait a one second. I'm going to make a new fire, a new group called projectiles, okay? Pygame.sprite.group. And every single projectile that the player creates will go in here, okay? And this is specifically for the player's projectiles, by the way. So we could just call this something like player projectiles, maybe? Okay, because later on, if you make enemies who can shoot out stuff, because I do have plans for that, maybe. So then we'll need to have two separate groups, okay, because the groups will have slightly different interactions. So this one is for the player's projectiles. So what I'll do is that first map a key to the fireball. I'll just type in, I'll just use M, okay, M for magic. So player.fireball, okay, and I'll pass in the player projectiles group. Okay, and the point of the player projectiles group is to very easily handle things. Okay, so I can do four projectiles for projectile in player projectiles projectile dot render. Okay, and projectile dot update. Pretty handy. Okay, so back to where we were with the player. I'll create the fireball, then I'll add the fireball into the group okay 
So, hmm. this looks good so far. Now let's run this code and see what happens. Okay, now let me try firing a fireball. Okay, no. It's not defined. Projectiles. Projectiles, okay. Let's run this again. Another error. It's missing the player argument, of course. I'll just pass in self over here, okay? Alternatively, you could change the parameters and just pass in self.direction and the self.position, okay? If you wanted to, but I'm just going to do it this way. If you guys want to change that, feel free to. Okay, so, oh sorry, I ran the wrong file. Let me run the game file now, and here we go. Let me fire out the fireball. I'm pressing M. Another error. I'm missing the group parameter. Why did it need the group again? Oh, it needs the enemy group, of course. Um, so we need this group, basically. Come here and pass it in. Okay, and let's run this again. And there we go, there's our fireball. Pretty cool, right? And let's go and actually fight some enemies now. Of course this won't kill them, uh, but we'll get to see it actually hit them and then disappear. You know, like killing itself, basically. Pretty cool. Okay, so... Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Now, what I want to do, actually, is make it be able to kill the enemies. Okay. <sighs> Man, this is getting pretty intensive. Our game's getting pretty complex now, actually. We need to make so many changes. But, you know, that's kind of part of anything, really. So I'm going to pass in the fireball group in here. Okay, we'll just call this group the player, uh, you know, the projectiles group for, for the player, basically. So I'm going to go over into our game file, and where is our enemy code? Um, the third parameter, right? So I'll pass in the player projectiles in here. Uh, I don't really like the way this code is going out of the window, so let me just try and compress that a bit. Um, that's about as much as I can do. So, back to the enemy. And now that I have the projectiles group here, okay, we'll add in an extra condition over here. If you're colliding with the player, or you're colliding with the uh, sprite collide any self and projectiles okay so what i just said here is that if you're colliding with the player or you're colliding with a projectile from the projectiles group then you know kill yourself basically okay so this is the first time i'm, I'm actually trying to put this inside you know uh, if statement like this i hope it works out i hope so okay and let's go over to stage three and Okay, five were given. Huh. Really? Oh, oh, okay. Um, when is this player collisions thing uh, triggered again? I think it's in the player group, maybe. Uh, okay, where's our attack function? Our game's gone, kind of gone big enough that I'm having trouble remembering where is what. Where is the player collision function called for the enemy? Player collision, uh huh. Okay, the update function calls player collision. That makes sense, of course. I remember now. Okay, I remember how this happened. Uh, come over here. You go over there. And you. You go in there. Okay, we just need to adjust some parameters a bit. <sighs> Seriously? Okay, back there, comma. And this is this is gonna work. Okay, this one will definitely do it. Here we go. So come on, enemies spawn, fire. 
There we go, he's dead. Huh. Now, interestingly, the fireball isn't killing itself. I wonder why. Maybe because the enemy is detecting the hit first. Hmm? That would actually make sense. Well, this is a bit of an issue, I guess. Hmm. Let me see. True. Game. I'm just trying something out. If it works out, then uh, I'll explain it. Okay. Bool object is not collidable. All right, you know what? We'll take a little slight break on this, okay? We'll just uh, leave this bug in as it is. Okay, I'll fix it later and then you know, explain. So for now, let's move on to some other things that I want to show you guys, okay? Like the mana bar, okay? Because I think we still have a few minutes to go. So let's go ahead and try to cover some very basic aspects to it, okay? Or rather, should we just leave it for the next video? Okay, you know what, we'll leave it for the next video. In the next video, we'll take a look at the mana bar and we'll fix the inventory as well. It'll be a good 15 to 20 minute video and where we finally pull together a whole bunch of things. Okay, we'll add in the mana potion item, we'll add in, um, we'll fix a few issues or two that have been popping up recently and we'll take care of a bunch of stuff, okay? So let's just end it over here. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content and uh, of course, leave some feedback, so I'll see you guys in a later video.